Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another tutorial on Pokemon. This tutorial will show you how to get unlimited rare candies in either Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and then technically Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. So the reason for this is because you get the rare candies in any of the Gen 3 games and when you transfer their Pokemon up to Gen 4 games, you can transfer the items they are holding as well, which is really useful. So that's why I say that you can technically get them to uh, uh, fi uh, the Gen 4 games, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, yeah, so I made a tutorial on how to get unlimited rare candies in, I believe, Platinum, and then that one was kind of time consuming, kind of luck based. There are ways you can make it pretty easy, but uh, this one's a lot easier to do. It might be a little more time consuming if you want to transfer your items up to a Gen 4 game, but if you want them only on Gen 3 games, then this will be the method for you. So, a lot of you guys may know this method already, but it's pickup. You use pickup with uh, Zigzagoon is the obvious choice because Zigzagoon you find on this first route, Route 101, and they have a 100% chance of knowing the ability pickup. And then all you basically do is, once you have a team of five or six if they're high level and can kill all the Pokemon, you basically just go into a battle with the Pokemon and fight it. Let's just bite. And then each poke, each pickup Pokemon has a chance of picking up an item, and each item it picks up has a chance of being a rare candy. So we got one item. Let's see what it is. It's an Ultra Ball. Uh, so I looked on Bulbapedia to see the odds of getting the rare candies, and it seems as though on, uh, Ruby and Sapphire and then Fire and Leaf Green, it's a 5% chance of getting a rare candy from your Pokemon, which is pretty good considering how fast you can do this. Also, Fire and Leaf Green, you can catch Meowths, and those will have pickup, but, uh, Keep in mind, I don't think this is as good on Fire Red and Leaf Green because you get mainly berries when in this game, these games you get like Ultra Balls and potions and stuff. It's a lot better. But uh, yeah, so and based on my experience, it doesn't even seem like it's as high of a chance to get a rare candy from the pickup ability on Fire Red and Leaf Green. Even though it says it is 5%, I just, based on my experience, it hasn't felt like that. But Anyway, so let me just do this until I get at least one rare candy. I don't think this will take too long, especially if I just keep killing the Pokemon. And the thing that a, a strategy I like to do is I like to just battle a few Pokemon before I check just to make sure I actually get one. So I don't have to keep checking back over and over again. So I'm going to do that. There we go, okay, we got one. And there you go, rare candy from the Zigzagoon, very easy. Now, this took me about seven minutes to do. Um, this, I was getting pretty unlucky. It wasn't like, I wasn't getting unlucky with the rare candies, I was just getting unlucky with the Pokemon picking up items. Like, I would kill like three Pokemon and then check and there were, none of them would have items. So, uh, it, it is RNG, obviously, like everything is in this game, but this, this can go by pretty fast. There are runs that I've done where I've gotten like two or three of these at once. I have rare candies. So it's all luck based. But on top of that, you basically what you want to do is you want to go, like you want to have a strong Pokemon, say like a Rayquaza or something like that, and go to a route that you want to get a shiny Pokemon at. And just do this, try to get rare candies, and you have a chance of getting a shiny. And that's like, I honestly am surprised I haven't gotten a shiny yet, but... That being said, this game has gotten two random shinies while I was playing through, one of them being that Crobat, it was a Zubat, and then I also got a Shuppet, which was really lucky. So I, I guess I wasn't really expecting it, but a good place for me to to like shiny hunt and do this thing would be on this route because I can get shiny Ralts, I could get shiny, uh, I believe Zigzagoon, Poochiena, Wurmple, Seedot, oh this is Sapphire, so it'd be Lotad, but I can get a lot of... Uh, good shinies at this route so it'd be worth my time to do rare candy hunting here in case i get a shiny it would be something i would actually want so yeah go to a route that you would actually want a shiny hunt at and then just do that with five zigzagoons in your party and just 
kill every Pokemon you see. It would be a longer shiny hunt, but you would get rare candies out of it as well. So that's really cool. Another thing I want to mention is a starting Emerald version, like Ruby Sapphire, Fire Rod, and Leaf Green, those all have the same standard rate of getting rare candies. Uh, Emerald, starting for Emerald, they changed it so it's based on your Pokemon's level. So if you have a Zigzagoon with pickup that is like level 2 or level 5, I think even level 10, it has a 0% chance of getting a rare candy. But this does work out though if you have a high level Pokemon with Zig uh, Zigzagoon with pickup. So if it's level 100, I think 91 to 100 has gives it about a 30% chance of getting a rare candy. So I set up my Emerald version to test this, and this is also true for, I believe, all of the Gen 4 and up games. I don't know if the odds are exactly the same, but the higher up in level your Pokemon is, the higher chance it has of getting the rare items, which includes like rare candies, I believe nuggets, and like full restores, and like proteins and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, let me go on to my Emerald version. I have a team of six Zigzagoons that are level 100, and we're going to see how fast it takes for me to get a rare candy on that. So I will see you then. Okay, guys, loading up my Emerald version. I do have a Spanish version of Emerald. This has does not affect this at all whatsoever. But uh, I have a Spanish version of Emerald because I, used, I did a How to Get Shiny Mew and Deoxys tutorial on that, and you need... Uh, a European version that's not English so I had to get Spanish version of Emerald so that's the only one I have right now uh, if you want to look at that um, tutorial I have it on my channel I might link it in the description how to get shiny Mew and Deoxys without a cheating device so we have our six Zigzagoons that are level 100 and we're gonna get right into this I believe these Zigzagoons have attacking moves so I think I should be good with killing Pokemon if you, if you don't have six at level 100, just, you know, use a different Pokemon. Okay, I have Tackle, so that's fine. All right, we have one right here. And that that's a rare candy. Oh, my gosh. That was the first try. That took, like, 30 seconds. I would highly recommend doing it on this version. Uh, I think I don't I think the rates might be the same in Gen 4 games, but keep in mind Zigzagoon is not a hundred percent chance of getting pickup as its ability it can get, I believe, runaway as well. So keep that in mind. But uh yeah, first try killed one Pokemon and got a rare candy. That's Carmel or Carmelado or something like that. Carmelado. But uh there's one rare candy. Let's see if I can get it again. Also, I have to charge my Game Boy, so of course that had to happen while I'm recording, so bear in mind. Alright, so we got ourselves a Wurmple. Now, there's always that chance your Zigzagoons aren't going to pick up an item, so let's keep that in mind. One did. And it's a... PP up is what I got. So still a really good item to get. Another thing you'd want to keep this in mind to make this go faster is don't use a shiny Pokemon to fight the Pokemon with because you have to sit through the sparkles every time, which isn't long but adds to the time. And then another thing you'd want to do would be a Pokemon at level 100. So ideally this Zigzagoon is good because it's level 100, and it's not shiny, so I don't have to wait through sparkles, and I don't have to wait for it to gain experience. And I'm still not getting items, though, but... I'll, I just want to see how long it takes for me to get another rare candy. Okay, there we go. There's another one. That took a little bit of time, but overall not too bad. And yeah, you, you can just do this. You can shiny hunt. Uh, I would highly recommend doing this on Emerald version. Let's see if any of these are. Hyper Potion, Protein, and Hyper Potion. So Protein still. So you get some good items on Emerald version if you uh, level up to 100. Actually, you don't even need 100. You need level 91. So get your Zigzagoons to level 91 and do it on Emerald. Then it'll be worth it. If not, if you don't want to do that, then just do it on Ruby Sapphire or Fire Red and Leaf Green. It'll be worth it that way. But, uh, 
Yeah, you can transfer these up to Gen 4. You can also do this on Gen 4. It's just not as efficient. It's a little slower. So I would recommend doing it on the Gen 3 games and transferring them up. Transferring them up. And yeah, that's how you get Unlimited Rare Candies in Pokemon Part 2, I guess. Uh, if you want to see Part 1, that's, only, that's Platinum only. But it's a pretty effective method. Check out the description. Actually, I have a playlist of Pokemon tutorials, how to get some cool stuff in Pokemon games, but uh, I'm working on a, a playlist for that. It's started, it's only got a few videos on it, but if I keep finding other methods of getting cool stuff in Pokemon, I'll keep adding to that. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the Domination, and I will see you in the next video.